Okay, YouTube, I'm going to talk about my favorite build for season 28 coming up. This is on the PTR server. So as always, anything on PTR is subject to change when the season begins. But this is Tell Rushes. I've made it look quite awesome. Check that out. What an outfit. But um, I'm going to go through the build real quick and show you an example. Now, I'm going with like a speedier version for this. So I'm using like Bane of the Powerful and also from my teleport wormhole you'd want to probably use like safe passage and bane of the stricken if you're trying to push but that's pretty much it you can also go with different variations with meteor as well with uh, comet and um and whatever else but i like to just keep it nice and simple two changes and you can basically go from pushing to a, a speedier version all right so what we're using for this is Talrush's helm, and we're using the blood shard here while we can for the gem. Talrush's chest, tells, belt, pants, and gloves. I'm using Orghild's shoulders and braces. Squirt's amulet in the amulet slot. Halo of Karini, which I've made my primal, which you can now do, or will be able to do in Season 28 in Can Ice Cube. You can make one primal that you can have equipped at any one time. Getting Primordial Ashes, which will drop in, in GRs. They're kind of like uh, Forgotten Souls, but now you'll be able to get primordial, primordial Ashes as well, which is required to make your Primal. But be careful, there's going to be a lot rarer than any other material in the game. So I chose to make a Hell of Carini. You can see it has cooler kind of uh, looks to it. It has like that sort of Primal portrait and also has the big pentagram on the on the um on the item there but that means it's that one special primal don't think you can create 12 of them you can create 12 of them you can only have one equipped okay don't get too excited so i've got hello karini there uh convention of elements nothing special haven't really made my gear anything too crash hot and the grand vizier for your for your two-handed staff your weapon and Nilfer's Boast Boots. That covers off all the gear. Legendary gems for this. Bane of the Legendary gems for this, I'm trying to say. Bane of the Trapped. Zays and Bane of the Powerful, which I mentioned. You can sub out for Bane of the Stricken if you're going to be pushing higher GRs. And then we've got our, um, our Topaz Intelligence gems, which also give us Resist All for the chest and the pants there. The ever important skills that we're using Spectral Blade with Ice Blades, Meteor with Star Pact, Teleport with Wormhole, Magic Weapon with Conduit, Familiar with Spark Flint, Storm Armor, Power of the Storm, Elemental Exposure for Passive, Astral Presence, Power Hungry, Galvanizing Ward. Now, the ever important Can Ice Cube, which, like my head would be in the way, you wouldn't see it properly, so I'll go through it here. The Smoldering Core. Mempu of Twilight and Ring of Royal Grandeur, which makes this possible having Org Holds equipped as well. Alrighty, that's pretty much it. Have I covered everything off? Skills, gear, real quick. We're flying through this, and of course, can I cube? Smoldering Core, Mempo, Ring of Royal Grandeur. You're good to go. You got the basic idea, right? Let's go. I've been farming like um, 115s with this. No problemo at all. Not always guaranteed good maps, obviously. Uh, it is a bit more of a non-beginners type setup as well for the wizard. I mean, you get used to it. If you're new to Diablo, I wouldn't, I wouldn't start with this build, that's for sure. Start with something a lot simpler, like the Demon Hunter. I mean, you can start with this if you want. You'll get used to it eventually. But definitely not for a beginner. It is very squishy. But um, if you play it right, you can stay alive. Get those juicy purple orbs as always and keep on moving. That's the aim of the game.
And you want to wait till your arcane is absolutely full before you unleash your meteors. But I love the meteor effect. This may be um, one of my favorite wizard builds, actually, to be honest with you. So I might even consider playing a wizard next season. I might do it. I might do it. I've no, I don't think I've ever played a wizard in a season before. So last... Last uh, season before Diablo 4, I'm, I might go wizard, but I'll reveal what I go in the near future. I'm not too sure. Don't quote me on it just yet, because they could make changes. This is way too powerful, I think. Um, players are doing 150s at like 1500 Paragon, and that's just bonkers. So, I'm fairly confident the, there will be some nerfs to this. And that's also without using potions in Season 28. So, it's very powerful. But what I'm saying is, playstyle-wise, like, I'm not trying to push right now. I'm just, you know, having some fun. I'm trying to move through a bit quicker. I mean, you, you can definitely push. Just whack in Bane of the Stricken, change your teleport to safe passage, and away you go if you really want to, damn it. But in order to just, you know, cruise through GRs at a quicker rate, I've just been messing around like this. Unfortunately, as always is my luck, I get pretty average maps to serve as examples, but that's alright. Condi will help uh, us progress a bit quicker. And I'm only like 1.1k Paragon, so really like I'm doing like a 115 and cruising through pretty comfortably. This is like early game stuff. I don't know why I couldn't teleport that time. One of the worst maps ever, this one. Look how empty it is until you get to like this central area here, and then it's not much better, to be honest. At least there's a pile on there, thank the Lord. Got something decent happening in this rift. This should be it now, anyway. But you guys and girls get the, the basic idea. Good night, Rift Guardian. Done and dusted, just like that. That's the build. Um, I think it's one of the more fun ones. It's definitely the most fun that I've had on a wizard ever. So, just got to keep an eye out on what they end up doing with this build. It's potentially potentially the most powerful right now, or probably, definitely, I would say, in my opinion, is the most powerful. And if players are doing 150 clears with 1500 Paragons, I think I was doing like up to 130s just messing around, um, where I'd expect a nerf, but we'll see. Just, we'll have to wait and see what Blizzard says. But I'll see you all in Season 28.